Now what we're going to do in this example is remove our gray overcasty sky and replace it with a new sky. And we're going to do that by first just making a quick mask. And I'm dumping in a color in the background and sampling the image just to, just to fill in the starkness of the white or just to make it seem a little bit easier to work with. So here I have some sky images that I downloaded from cgtextures.com. And what I'm going to do is sort of go through each one and I'm making selections and using the content aware fill to just remove unwanted things. So I took out my trees there, my bushes. I'm kind of just doing some spot removal and cleaning up the image a little bit. And more fill, the spot removal tool, and just remove some nicks and scratches and dirt that's unwanted. And then do the same thing to the other cloud image. So I'm just making selections. Do the content to wear fill. And there you go. Removed it. So I've got three images here. And I'm just taking a look at them here. And what we're going to do is match the colors from all three images. But first I'm going to do some more content aware fill on this. Remove them. And now change the sizes so all the sizes match. So we can create sort of one big sky that we can place into the image. Now match color is pretty cool because you can take the color from one image and apply it to other images. So it's under adjust, or it's under image adjust match color. But I save those out. I'm going to go into my photo merge and I'm going to merge those three images into one sky panorama. And then paste that in. And then I'm going to go ahead, scale it down, make it fit a little bit. And then take a look at how to adjust it here because I don't have a whole image. And then quickly create a gradient in the background based off the colors in my sky. Help fill that out a little bit. Sort of match the horizon and the, the haze. And all I'm doing is sampling the color stops with the gradient and then just placing it in there. And then in this case, I just duplicated part of the image, slid it over, and then I'm going to go ahead and paint in some clouds really quick using the clone brush. Do some dialing there. And just to help fill out the clouds. And then using Content Aware to remove some other clouds. And then using the color range, I'm going to sort of select some of the blue and the grays in between the clouds and blend them into my gradient and into the clouds behind them. Now I'm refining my mask here and working on the horizon line a little bit with the haze. The refine mask tool is pretty awesome, I have to admit. It uh, gives you some compositing control over creating a mask and um, allows you to just fine-tune it to how you want it. It's much easier to work with now. Then taking a look at my clouds here. I'm going to paint in some more hero clouds. Fix these up using the clone brush or the clone stamp. Just go ahead and fix these. And then take a look there. And they're kind of off-center a little bit, so I'm not really sure if I want to keep them there. So what I'm going to do is use the offset filter and slide them over to where the um, light source would appear that it's coming from. And then I'm taking my horizon, painting in some more fog, some more haze, and just kind of blending it in. And then using my mask, just removing some of the blue that's in the mask, or that's in the image, to blend it into the background a little bit more. Then I'm using a layer style with my blend commands, or my blend layers, to blend it in the background into my gradient so it's not so noisy, not so perfect. And again, working on the haze and moving on to fixing some of the minor details that are in the photo, like this building here and some of the stitching that happened wasn't ideal. So I'm going to go ahead and fix some of that stuff. Use my navigator to shift around. 
So jumping back into the clouds, again, tweaking the clouds and blending them into the gradient underneath it, and then fixing the clouds a little bit more so they're not so broken up looking. Just cosmetic work. And then feathering the mask a little bit more to try and get that horizon just right. Now it's starting to come together here. It's looking okay. It's not a complete eyesore. But um, just got to tweak the clouds a little bit more. Clouds are kind of tough to work with sometimes. Now this is also really noisy, so I'm going to try and remove some of that noise by using a color range. And then I'm going to blend that in and tweak it a little bit more, tweak the transforms on it, and blend my haze. So we're pretty close to being complete here, but uh, I'm not really happy with the mask that I was working on with that, so I'm going to go ahead and try a new one, use the refine mask, and try using it with the color range this time. Make my selection, blend it in, again working on the haze and trying to get that just right. So it's starting to look a little bit better there. Now I'm going to run a reduced noise on my clouds because clouds from these photos are pretty noisy. So I'm going to reduce the noise and then dial them in. Go around and tweak some more clouds using my brush, painting some things out. And then I'm creating a gradient that is a neutral density gradient which is new in Photoshop to sort of just add a little bit of darkness towards the top and then move on to a bloom which I'm just using a lens flare and I place it on the photo first and then I run it again on a black layer like you just saw and now I'm adjusting it and then I'm go ahead and mask out the areas that are unwanted take a look at my mask remove it paint in a little more area there and you can see there's the bloom now adding a little bit of an effect to that just tweaking it a bit more and now I'm starting to do some color correction using levels photo filter and adjusting my shadow color a little bit just to push it into the image so everything feels like it's united and feels together and crop my image and starting to come together here. Now I'm not going for a completely photorealistic look. I mean it's kind of stylized and a little bit I guess hyper real just because it you know that's just what I wanted to do with it. It looked a little bit better as something pushed more than just completely realistic. Now I'm using a gradient and I'm going to create a vignette just to add a little bit of interest around the outside edges sort of dial that in and then create my layer comps and after with the sky and then a before without our sky and color correction and then we can see our before and after and there we go